Hey everyone, welcome to that Metal Guns and Outdoors. Today we're going to be shooting a little bit of 22 Magnum. And I brought out one of the little keystones. Uh, Y'all seen me bring out a keystone before in 22 Long Rifle. And this one is pretty much exactly like it. Only difference is 22 WMR. And these things are just so much fun. Check out them fiber optic sights. Yeah, you can get a good sight picture with that. And these are basic uh, single shot, bolt action. You load it. You still have to pull this back in order to shoot it. Very safe little firearm. I always recommend these. If you have a beginning shooter or a child or somebody like that, or somebody that's recoil sensitive, I mean, these things are fantastic. It's already drilled and tapped. If you want to put some style of different sight on it, which I don't see why, then fiber optics are awesome. Uh, we've got a uh, new splatter target put up there. And I'm actually going to try for some bullseyes. We'll see what we can accomplish. Uh, we're shooting some uh, CCI Maxi Mag. It don't say anywhere on the box about the grains or anything like that. But, uh, hey, we'll give them a try and see what we think about them. Get our ears on. Even though it's 22, still, need to get your ears on. Better safe than sorry. I actually have two different ones in this box. I have a hollow point and a regular. So let's throw that hollow point in there first. Alright, let's see if we need to get close to the bullseye today. Not too bad. Where's another one? Well, how right with that one? Go back to a hollow point. That second shot was just a regular. Here's a hollow point. Definitely. Well, done pretty good on the target. Got a little high on that one. Besides that, we got two bullseyes. I'm happy with that. Let's catch you some steel. Unbelievable. That bullet must have been bent. Had a curve to it. I'm sure it did. This long barrel, I'm already halfway there. There we go. Run over here to our new targets. I do really like them. They make a pretty good ding when we hit them. Let me shoot this thing left handed. No doubt. You know, man can just sit out here and plink all day long with something like this. Little gun shoots good. Uh, trigger pull is a little bit hard on it. So you do have to be careful that you don't jerk the trigger. You know, sometimes I'm bad about doing that. Well, I mean, not too bad. Let's reach out there to the white plate. Let's reach out there and miss the white plate. Try one more on that. That was just embarrassing. Oh, 
I can see a little bit of difference between these uh, silver case ones, which were the hollow points, and these basic flat nose. See, look at them hollow points are just a little more on the money. And that may be me. All right, big yellow. Most definitely. Now let's see if we can reach on out there, out there. Let's go for the green one with the white X on it. We got it. Come on, we got to get a white plate. Get a copy first. There we go. Yeah, ain't got many left. Let's go and shoot the rest of these. This little thing's pretty fun. It is a good shooter. Uh, I don't know how precision it is. We'll see if I can get that spinner target right there. No doubt. Oh, let's forget about that spinner on the ground down there. So we can pop it a time or two. That ain't a spinner, but it's reactive. say one thing about this little pistol. If you can hold it on the target, she'll surely hit it, that's for sure. Yeah, this is uh, not bad at all. Do we forget that alien? I'm sorry, Mr. Alien. We got two more. Let's go on out there to that big white target. That's the furthest one. That's, I think, about 130 feet from us. We tagged her. One more left. I'm going to put it on the original lane. No doubt. And she's clear. Well, guys, there you have it. A little Keystone and 22 mag. I mean, uh, didn't have no issues with it, as you could tell. That thing's on the money. Them sights, I mean, even though they are adjustable, you can see here on the gray, they're adjustable up and down, and they're adjustable side to side. But this thing doesn't need no adjusting whatsoever. It rocked really well. Well, guys, hope y'all enjoyed that. I do like these, uh, I'm going to call it an extended pistol. Uh, they are a blast to shoot. I know I enjoyed it. Uh, if y'all could, please leave me some comments. And like I say, questions and suggestions are always welcome. Happy to get to them and happy to read them and see what y'all, uh, where y'all's mind's at. And if you can, Hit us up on our Patreon page. We'll buy a bunch more ammo. And if you would, please, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you all, and I hope you have a fantastic day.